Hello everybody and welcome back to my vlog and today what we got is this NAM C52SE DIY kit. This is a uh, discrete pre-amplifier if I can show you that there. Discrete pre-amplifier and it is a, a kit to be built up. They got this from AliExpress, I'll show you in a moment. It's gonna undo the box and have a quick little peek inside. Um, this comes from some acoustics, I can't remember, but that's what we're going to take a peek. In a moment, I do like the box, I do like the idea it's coming in a hard box, helps keep the components as they, as they should be. Nice bit of wrapping there, oh, oh, nicely cellophane together as well. So let's just pop this open. One thing I noticed straight away is it's a very small board. And, um, which means it's going to be a point for easy placement. Now, one of the things that I noticed when I first looked on the website, and I'll show you in a second, Moffy Acoustics. So they've split up the C52 5A preamp there. But one of the things you can notice is this thing here. And that is this nicely indicated out to be the power supply side of it. And have our rectifier you here and our smoothing capacitors. Uh, going off onto the, the lines here, three each side, and nice star ground arrangement. Uh, but it sort of says on the advert on the first part that it's DC power supply, and as you can see there, look, it's actually an AC. You're going to feed it with an AC power supply. Like I say, nice, nice board. Just noticing actually that um, no, you don't. So you don't get any of the, and this could come in handy for some, but you can see here that's for the AC going in. But what you don't get, it looks like on here without me taking it all out, you can sort of see that you don't get any of the connect the blocks so there's nothing for the power for the line going in the signal going in and there's nothing for the signals coming out so that's something to keep in mind you'll either be hardwiring that or you already have some of these connector blocks that are, are not in the kit maybe that's what keeps the price down but let's have a look at the screen anyway uh, and as we can see here, look, look at this, like cheapest, cheapest chips. Um, so this is what I was saying about the plus minus uh, 15 volts DC. Uh, so that might make you think straight away, hey, I've got a plus minus power supply or I can build a plus minus power supply for this. It's not very high power. Um, and you're going to need an AC feed in there. Uh, we're not going to bother going through the pictures here, so you can buy it as a kit, you can buy it as a finished board, 11.93 without the 19% off, or uh, 6.64. That's what I paid for it. Um, this is a choice day welcome deal. So I'm not signed in. If I was signed in, I wouldn't get it at that price. So bear that in mind as well. Um, uh, this is just a gone for about duties and customs and whatever. So let me just make this a little bit bigger. Those are my mother. Bring it along. Complete the project, high knowledge electronics, fresh experience, dual rail plus minus 15 volt regulated power supply for amp. All in one design, single point pointing ground. Most cost effective, blah blah. So here we go. Look, power requirements AC 15 mot 015. So you need it. 
a 30 volt swing on there, 10 watts. Uh, DIY kit contains PCB and components needed, but does not include the power transformer. Based on a well tested board on the standard version kit, we verified all key points voltage using a signal generator and oscilloscope for analog waveform double verification. We will not use this board for listing test. I love the uh, I love the English. Okay, so there we go. We got this area here where you can. Uh, or is even showing what current should be being drawn through there? And the voltages. That's nice. For those who like to build and go for a probe around, just have a little look. Uh, we've got um, NXP. These are Nichicon FH, I think. Uh, Nichicon BP, Nippon Chemicon, so it's all good capacitors on semi BC uh, 550s, on semi 560 ST LM 7815 ST LM 7915, so that's the minus posi uh, positive and minus uh, regulation there for the for the kit itself. Alright, so that's what it looks like when it's built up. Doesn't look too bad at all, but this uh, plus minus 15 volt DC, of course, can't quite be correct. Because if we're putting 15 volts in there AC, I mean, yes, it is correct because it's using regulators to drop that voltage down from the output of this, and it's going through regulators to drop that voltage down. Uh, which should help actually clear out some of the noise as well. In some respects, some could argue with that. But there we go, so that's what we got. And that's what we're going to put together now. I'm going to... I'm not going to build it uh, recording the whole thing because it will take too long. It's the normal thing, put the smallest components in first. It makes it easier to get around the board. Uh, check your components as well. These don't get too nappy. The first thing you can do is look at these resistors and see what they're like because sometimes you can end up with these resistors that look like, you know, somebody's hand painted them on there. And right from the get go, you might think to yourself, well, these may not be very good. But these look pretty good. They look pretty good. The um, these are what they're saying then. Chemicon. Whether that is or not. I don't know. 35 volts. Oh. These, these are Nichicon, it says, well, it says it on there anyway. And they look like they're bipolar, because they don't have an indicator for, for um, polarity, they look like they're bipolar, alright. As you can see on there is the indicator for polarity. Um, okay, 105C as well. So, quick look at that again. For a... Can't see if that's 105C, but turn my Faraday 85C. Okay, but there we go. We've got parts, you know, little standoffs as well. Everything seems to be okay. Not sure about these transistors, whether they're going to be absolute genuine parts, but it seems to have a great deal of problems with the transistors anyway. So, uh, some of these kits, it's 
the biggest problem to kit had so far from anywhere really is the old um, little orange LED for indication of power uh, right so that's it yeah that's what we're going to be building up I'll, um, I'll show you because we're going to I'll build it up off screen and then um, just run it through some some of the basic tests and we'll see what it's like all right then that'll be uh, that'll be part two makes my life a lot easier if I do it like that all right I'll see you when it's built up. Bye for now.